Australia has a rich cultural diversity. The 2016 census revealed that Australians were born in almost 200 different countries and speak more than 300 languages. People from non-English speaking backgrounds can benefit greatly from the use of an interpreter when utilising services. In the community services industry, we find the need for interpreter services is heightened. However, not all staff working within the sector know when and how to use an interpreter service. This webinar aims to provide you with knowledge of the interpreter services available and identify some simple best practice measures. It is essential that accredited interpreters are used at any point when a person from a non-English speaking background requests an interpreter or at the initiative of a staff member, particularly when providing information that is necessary for decision making, conducting assessments, conveying sensitive information about a person's needs or supports, or when the client appears to be stressed or anxious. Professional interpreters should always be used in preference to family, friends, community members or bilingual staff. Family and friends may not have sufficient language skills to interpret complex information, are emotionally involved in the situation and are not bound by the same standards as a professional interpreter. Using an unqualified interpreter opens up your service to potential risks associated with misinterpreted information. The free interpreting service is delivered by TIS National on behalf of the Department of Social Services. The free interpreting service helps eligible groups to communicate with clients who have limited or no English language proficiency. A wide range of groups can access the free interpreting service to provide services to anyone in Australia who has a Medicare card. Groups who can use the service include private medical practitioners, pharmacies, non-government, non-profit organisations for approved casework and emergency services where the organisation does not receive substantial government funding, NDIS service providers, service providers delivering home care packages, Commonwealth home support packages and residential aged care services, real estate agencies, local government authorities, trade unions and parliamentarians. Using credentialed interpreters can facilitate better access to essential services for clients and is particularly important for conversations in technical, legal or health contexts. You can access an interpreter on the spot by calling 131450 or you can pre-book. Booking is recommended when you require a less common community language or have special or complex requirements. TIS National provides a telephone interpreting service as well as on-site interpreters. The service is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and has a pool of interpreters speaking over 160 community languages. TIS National interpreters are bound by a professional code of ethics, which requires them to interpret information accurately and honestly, maintain confidentiality, be impartial and objective, and act in a professional manner at all times. TIS National's policy is to use the highest credentialed interpreter available. Requests for specific interpreters are not encouraged for this reason. The national interpreter symbol indicates to people from non-English speaking backgrounds that they can ask for an interpreter at your service. You may wish to consider displaying this symbol in your reception area. Each eligible individual, group or organisation will need their own unique client code to access the service. To register for a client code, eligible groups can complete the online client registration form on the TIS National website at www.tisnational.gov.au or allow a few minutes extra the first time they use the service. You can also register by contacting TIS National by phone on 1300 575 847. To access the free interpreting service, call TIS National on 131450. You will need to provide the operator with the language of the interpreter that you need, your client code and the name of your organisation. You can also request an interpreter of a particular gender if required, subject to availability. To ensure the client needs are met and that the interpreter can provide a useful interpretive service, it is important to consider the following when planning to use TIS. Always ask the client for their preferred language and never make assumptions about what language the client speaks. Always allow additional time when working with an interpreter. Be aware of the client's privacy when arranging an interpreter. For small community groups in the Illawarra and Shoalhaven, an interpreter may also be a person's friend or acquaintance. And consider offering to use a telephone interpreter and keep the client's name confidential. 
When utilising TIS, it is best practice to acknowledge and introduce the interpreter at the start of the session. Where possible, provide the interpreter with some context for the conversation to ensure the information is appropriately interpreted. Speak directly to the client, not to the interpreter. If working with an on-site interpreter, arrange yourselves in a triangle with you positioned directly opposite the client and the interpreter to the side of you both. Keep statements short and avoid jargon. Multicultural New South Wales provides on-site interpreting in a range of community languages and are available for booking 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Multicultural New South Wales has scope to provide fee waivers for some non-profit organisations working with people from non-English speaking backgrounds at its own discretion. Organisations will need to contact Multicultural New South Wales Language Services to register for fee waivers and will need to request a waiver each time an interpreter is required. Contact details for Multicultural New South Wales can be found on their website at www.multicultural.newsouthwales.gov.au. The Illawarra Shellhaven Healthcare Interpreting Service provides interpreting for patients from non-English speaking backgrounds. The service provides on-site interpreters, telephone interpreting and video conferencing. It is essential that qualified healthcare interpreters are used when discussing any health related information as they have specific training in interpreting medical terminology. Bookings are made by healthcare professionals for specific appointments. Community service professionals can contact the Healthcare Interpreter Service to discuss necessary support for their client. Wollongong City Council provides on-site interpreters for public, community and private sector agencies in a fee-for-service capacity. Interpreters may be used for meetings, client assessments or events. The Council has nationally accredited and qualified interpreters and language support workers speaking 32 community languages. Bookings can be made by contacting Wollongong City Council. The free translating service is provided for people settling permanently in Australia to support participation in employment, education and community engagement. Permanent residents and select temporary or provisional visa holders are able to have up to 10 eligible documents translated into English within the first two years of their eligible visa grant date. Applications for the free translating service are made on the free translating service website. The website is easy to use and is available in English, Arabic, Farsi and Simplified Chinese. For a list of useful resources, please see the websites on the screen now. Community Industry Group run many training courses specifically designed for those who work in the community services sector. To keep up to date with our work, you can follow us on our social media channels or sign up for our fortnightly newsletter.